Life goes up and it goes down I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around So little and we keep track of time Hello, hi, welcome back to my channel. Please do excuse the hair, it's absolutely throwing it down outside. I just can't believe how much it's been raining recently, which is really strange because they said that the UK was supposed to have this gigantic heat wave, and you know what? The only heat wave I've been having is from the hot water bottles. Anyway, I have just gotten home from work and my poly order has arrived. So I just thought I would show you guys everything that I have bought. Majority of this haul will be kind of going out dresses, party dresses, bit of you know all-rounders that you can just whack on for anything I'm sure you could probably style it up to fit whatever occasion it is that you've got going on I myself bought him just because to be honest there was literally no point in me buying them because I honestly have the biggest stash of dresses ever unfortunately one of those people that way you think you can only wear a dress once and goes and buys a new one every single time but I've refused to throw out all the ones that I love which is getting kind of a problem so as you probably guessed from the title I am bringing you a massive Opoly dress haul there are a few tops that I have thrown in there as well just because you know they were stunning so why could I not just before we get into the video I do have some very exciting news that I'll be able to announce very very shortly hopefully within the next coming weeks so please feel free to pop on that notification bell so that you get binged so things come up with a new word every single time so that you get binged and tune in for that because it will be very exciting life-changing I suppose I want you all to meet Bailey <laughs> hey Bailey is part chihuahua part labrador so you won't be seeing very many <laughs> Bailey. It is just me and Bailey Boo in the house today, so if you do hear the little pitter passes on the floor, it is Bailey. With all that being said, please make sure you like, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will keep coming back with more and more videos. My schedule at the minute is Wednesdays, Sundays, and apparently Mondays. I'm hoping just to get it down to the Wednesdays and Sundays because OMG, the editing is immense, and I just. Okay, now let's just hop into the video. <laughs> Don't nudge me anymore. Bye then. I can't believe how much it's hammering it down outside. I'm so sorry if you can hear that. I do not have a microphone on my phone yet. That sounds stupid. I do have a microphone, but not one of those big fluffy things that you can stick into the side of it. So just bear with me. So the first one is this gorgeous little green one. It has got rhinestones in the uh, breastages area. Breastages. And then it's kind of like this kind of satin material. It's very figure hugging. I love the colour. I do think I need to be a bit more tan for this one. There's the back. It zips up with this just this little discreet zip at the back so you can't really tell. To have these kind of spaghetti straps. I'm not a big fan of the spaghetti straps because I always find that they like dig into me as opposed to like ones that are kind of a bit more sturdy because like they just, I can already feel it like just hurting. Can you see it there? Maybe that's because I'm buying them a bit too small for myself, but I don't care. I refuse to be a size bigger because that's the shop's fault, not mine. Very, very comfortable material, obviously, apart from the straps, but I do really approve of this one. I feel very like sexy mermaid. Next one, keeping it in the green sector. Whew. Oh, Polly are really sick of girls sending back their clothes after they've worn them when nights out. Can you tell? There's no way to get away with that. Anyway, so this is another green one. It is more rouged. I don't know what they were thinking with this one, to be honest, because like, I don't know whether you can see, but the patterns itself go crisscross. Like that's just the way of the, I don't know. And then this with the whole one shoulder thing, I did get it just as like an experiment, just to see whether I did suit it. But I just don't get it, I don't like it. Oh, Polly used to do like such a variety, but now all they've literally got is just like these rouged dresses, which is quite bad for me because I don't actually like the rouged material. I find that it doesn't actually complement as fig my figure as well as the smooth kind of looking dresses do. Anyway, here's it from the back. I don't like this one at all. I'm having one of those days, you know, when you haven't washed your hair in like about three or four days a week. And it's just like glued to your head and everywhere you put it, it just looks disgusting. Like that is one of the days that I am having. I just need some dry shampoo or something. <laughs> oh, Baptiste. Dry shampoo <laughs> smells absolutely incredible. I think every single one I've gotten, I've just wanted to use it as a perfume. OMG, Baptiste, if you ever want to bring out a perfume line, I will fully support and buy every single one of them. Just don't blend it on the moonlight. 
Don't blame it on the good times, blame it on the boogie. This is what I'm talking about, oh Polly! So here is a little red number that I bought again. It's just got that kind of satiny material. This is the type of material that I just think suits me. There's the back, it's quite a longer version. Do you think the short version's still on it? Oh, Polly, but it's just, oh, honestly, it hugs my figure so, so nicely. I just can't stop doing this. Like, it just feels so good. This is definitely something you could wear to more of, like, a cocktail party or, like, a works party. Bit more on the daring side, of course. And I never usually, like, like red on myself either because I just find that, like, red lipstick, red nail varnish, everything like that, I think it just washes me out. But I think this with, like, a really nice tan would look absolutely stunning. The issue is, I don't know if you've noticed, but I literally have to walk like with my with my legs like dead close together because there's not a lot of movement. There you go, that's about as far as I can get my legs, so. There's the zip again. I love when they're kind of hidden and just blended into the dress. You do have this extra bit of material in the front here as well, just like kind of hangs over and gives you that nice rouged in look. It gives you a very nice look. Does also push up the boobies a little bit so it keeps them all nice and perky. One, I feel like a very sexy mermaid, but in the red style now, bit of Ariel. Did Ariel have a red tail? I think it was red hair. You get what I mean. Don't know what to make of this one, to be honest. I bought it as kind of a curious decision. I'm not that curious anymore. It feels like it's a bit too slutty to wear to the office, but a bit too boring for a night out. Does that make sense? I can see where they're going with it, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one. So obviously it's got the slits in the sides and then it's got like the two little straps to like, go round you. Oh look, you can pure, look at my tan line. There's the back of course. It's like a kind of blazer dress. It's a new version of a blazer dress. I just don't know. I don't, what do you, what do you think? Clips that literally start from about here all the way down. No, I, I don't know. It feels, no, no. Do you, no, I don't. You know, this one on the photo actually looked really stunning, but now that I see it on, I'm not actually that convinced. Little blue number, the straps kind of hook around your neck like that. And then obviously these bits cover the boobs. Underneath, you've got like a little bit of sticky so that it's not supposed to move on you all day. It's growing on me, but I just don't know where you're supposed to have this bit. You're supposed to have it down here, or you're supposed to have it like right underneath your boobs. It's covered in all these gorgeous little like jewels and patterns. That's the back as well. I think maybe this kind of colour blue washes me out because I'm quite light. I've got the blue eyes, I've got the blonde hair. I'm quite light anyway. And I think colours like this really do not belong on me because it just doesn't make me look as pretty. When I used to buy from Opoly, I used to adore absolutely everything. I used to think, oh my gosh, I'm such a goddess in all their clothes. But now when I'm buying them, I'm just getting even more disappointed because I just feel like but it's their fault at all because they're still their clothing still beautiful it's really high quality like i absolutely love opoly's clothes but i'm just finding not a lot of stuff is suiting me for everything used to suit me when i was like 15 16 but now i'm getting older i just find that nothing's actually suiting me i don't know if any of you find the same but do i remind myself of a statue of liberty Genovia, Genovia. Do you know what film that's off? If any of you have ever watched Princess Diaries, and I was literally watching the other day, where it's like Princess Mia goes to like be the queen of Genovia, and everyone's are like, Genovia. I wonder if Genovia is a real place. Girls, I don't know if any of you are like me, but I have this ride or die dress, and it is an Opoly dress. Now, I don't actually think it's on the website at the minute, but I know that they always bring it out in like different forms and like different colours and whatever else, but this one I will be buried in because I wear it every time I just have a, like a breakdown and don't have anything to wear. This dress is my dress if you know what I mean. Look at this dress. My absolute ride or die. Just look how stunning that is. It's covered in all these little beads. It's absolutely gorgeous and it just hooks. I just know no matter what I'm going through this dress will always shame me up. Like it complements my figure beautifully. It just hugs around and you know what it's just fun to feel like all the little balls and all the little details don't know whether you can see but like in between they've just got glitter surrounding all of the balls as well spaghetti strap and here's the back it is gorgeous with like all the spaghetti straps going all the way up obviously this bit isn't supposed to be as tight however 
I actually think I was supposed to get it in a size 6, not a size 8, because the back is slightly loose on me. That's why I have to tie it a bit tighter. That's what's good about the straps as well. They are adjustable. I'm just going to put my reference in here. Of course, with all of these clothes in no poly, I always get usually a 6 or an 8, depending on how short the dress is. I am 5'7"-ish, um, so I'm a quite tall for a girl. With no poly stuff, if it looks a little bit short on the website, I will get it in a size 8. But if it looks like it's a longer dress, it also depends on like the adjustments as well whether it has whether you can adjust it whether it's just one zip like that one just, just depends but all of these will be either size sixes or eights moving on to kind of like a top portion of it i just wanted to throw this in here because look how beautiful this is so it's got the kind of mesh beautiful looking sleeves in like a light pale blue it's also got that bit hangover bit that it did on the previous red dress that gives you more of the kind of princessy illusion and it comes into kind of like this cropped corset it is literally like a corset type of style top it fits beautifully it sucks you in it's got these gorgeous little netted straps as well here is the back it's double lined as well so you've got none of that see-through shit going on it really does tie you in really nicely like it accentuates your figure so so well of course paired with like a simple necklace like this it really just makes you look exactly like a bit of cinderella underneath the material is kind of like that shiny material which is beautiful because then and over the top it just gives it that extra glam factor the only thing i will say about it is it's not the comfiest of tops when it comes to the sleeves because it is joined together and i'm out and about you know when it's like that it does get on your nerves so i don't wear it for a long period of time because it is just might get to the point where i might cut them off because i am sick of it but i'm just scared of what it'll do to the material for now i'll leave it but it might come to a point where i do cut it off because it can get really annoying and the straps as well can get really tight i'm sure you'll be able to see it already now yeah it's already going a bit red it's like they can get a bit tight so that's just a little warning there for you if you do want to go ahead and purchase it final top we have this little white corset style top to be honest i did buy it in the wrong size because the second i move in it it is falling down unfortunately so i will have to return this one and get it in a bigger size smaller size it's got the lines going down to give you that structured kind of look it is a gorgeous kind of i don't know my materials very well so just soft it's a nice soft material it goes down in kind of like that little v-shape but it is has just a lovely gold zip going down the back to kind of pair with my work pants that i wear i do have a pair of white kind of flared work pants and i thought maybe this would go really pretty with it but unfortunately it does fall down quite a bit and i just can't be all spending my day pulling it up because who's got time for that and that is it for my haul. To be honest, I thought I bought so much more stuff, but I really didn't. If you do want these hauls to start becoming a bit longer, if you want to see a bit more vlogs, a bit more of me, then please do let me know. Me, myself, I like to keep it a bit short and sweet, but of course I am open to doing the longer hauled versions if that's what you fancy. Bit more chatting, bit more me, bit more gossip, you know the drill. Any suggestions for any future videos, I would greatly appreciate it. What is it that you guys want to see? I would be happy to accommodate as long as we're keeping it PG-13. Yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Man on the other side of the screen. Again, I am a newbie to YouTube, so a like, subscribe, share is always greatly appreciated. As I mentioned, I do have some very, very big and exciting news coming um, probably the first week in July is when it's going to kick off. However, I'll be able to tell you guys from early June. So please do tune in for that. Make sure your notification bell is turned on so that you are the first to find out because it will be a very, very big announcement. Not one to miss. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Did you guys just see that? I see dead people. I see. Thank you so much for watching and I will look forward to seeing you very, very soon, Sunday. Bye.